Hey guys, Krista here from Davy and Krista, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to cull a wedding down to upload to your website. So when we were photographers, we actually delivered a page of highlights. So the first page that everyone saw was already the highlights. So if you already do that for your clients, that's going to make it really easy to narrow them down even more to about 25 to 40 images to upload to your gallery. Um, but if you don't do that, I'll kind of walk you through the images that I would choose to add to my website. Um, so if I was going to add a gallery to a website, I would want to show a mix of different parts of the day, but I might not show everything. So this wedding took place at Villanova in Pennsylvania. And so it was a darker church wedding. And then there was a reception. I'm going to choose an outside image of the church and then I might do this Villanova one, although this is kind of like on the chopping block. If I don't have, if I have too many other images, I might remove it. I'm going to do one of the groom. I'm going to do this one from their first look. I'm going to do a few portraits. Um, if you're not sure what to do, I would always go heavier on the portraits because those are what really make your work stand out. So one of the bride, one of her bouquet, um, like maybe one of the bridal party. Let's see. Maybe one of the guys. I'll do this one. These kinds of images can be really good on your website as like background images. Um, same with like something like that. So I'll grab that one. Actually, I like that one better. So I'm going to unflag this one and do that one instead. I don't need any of those. I'm not going to do any family portraits. Actually, maybe I'll do one just because they were shot on film. And I think they're really pretty. I'm going to do this one. Um, family portraits were also always important to us as photographers. I'm going to do one of them walking. That one's pretty. And that shows off the location. I'll do that one, this one, let's see, I like, I like these, I think that one's pretty, it's like a nice candid, this is always one of my favorites, um, and then the church was dark, um, so I'm probably not going to do many in here, I might do one black and white from further away if I have like a really great one let's see um like their kiss I'm not going to show because we had to stand in the back of the church and I just that's just not ideal for us or wasn't ideal for us but like that one looks good um and then I think this one is pretty and let's see I'm not going to do any of the inside church ones. I don't think I need these bridal party ones. We have so many. Um, but I like that one. Let's see. Uh, we have a good amount of portraits already, so I don't feel like I need to really add too many more. Um, I might do some from their reception menu, but let me just see what I have. Um, this is a day where we did a lot of portraits. Like that's kind of cool, but I don't know if it fits with the rest of the aesthetic, so I'm thinking I'm going to leave it out. Um, like that's pretty, that's pretty. Um, but again, you don't, you don't have to show everything. Like I don't need to show that image. Um, and these are all still kind of similar, so... Like maybe I'll do a couple from the reception to show off the details. Like that's pretty. Maybe one of their first dance. Did that save? Um, that one. And that's it. Um, and we didn't stay. It was an early wedding for us. So that is what I selected. And then let's see how many favorites that is. 
that is 34. So I feel like this would be a good amount of images to put on a website to really show it off. If you wanted to do a few more of like reception details, you could, or if I had had more getting ready bridal moments, I might have shown that, but they didn't have a shoot the getting ready part of the day. Um, so I don't have like invitation or shoes or anything like that. Um, but if I had some of those details, I would also show some of those. Next, I'm going to show you guys a family portrait session. So this session feels so old at this point because this little baby is not a baby anymore. Um, but I don't have any more recent galleries that are easy to go through. So this is Sarah. She's actually part of our Davy and Krista team. Um, and this for, these were taken in 2016 when her their first son was born. Um, so let's see if I were going to to blog these or if I were going to add these to a gallery, I would probably do this one and maybe this one and this one's good. That one's pretty. I think that one is cool. This is back when Davy had a beard. <laughs> Um, look, this one is really sweet. I might show some of the nursery, some of baby, some of Sarah with baby. I might do this one and this one. And you don't have to do, if you are like, if this is a portrait session for you, I would aim closer to 25. I don't think that you need 40 images of portraits typically, unless you have a lot of like variations. I'll pick a few more cute ones of baby. Um, let's see, this one, that one's cute. And I'm looking for a mix of maybe verticals and horizontals too. Um, let's see what else. This one is cute. I like these ones in front of his, his mirror. So he was happier there. These are cute. And what else is cute? His little Star Wars hat. Um, it's funny because now that he's older, he actually loves Star Wars. Okay, so here we are. We have 27 images, which is definitely better than the 100 and something that I would had in the gallery. Um, and so here I might call them down a little bit more, but these are what I would put in a gallery on a website to show off my work.